If it works, it worked. Am I still my 5G network? Hopefully, because that has, yes, I am. What's up, guys? Ed's here. Lord Luigi's here. I got uh, lots of stuff to show you. I fixed my lighting. So now I don't have that bright light flashing. So I can actually show you details on things. I'm going to wait for some uh, people to get here. Ionicus is here. I'm going to wait for some people to get here so I could show you this Black Widow, this deluxe Black Widow in the white outfit from the Black Widow movie, which honestly, the more I look at it, it's like one of my favorite figures of the year. Honestly, I, I was not even planning on buying this, uh, let alone, um, I, I didn't think I would enjoy this figure so much, but the whole presentation with the stand, this Hasbro stand is freaking phenomenal. When I first saw pictures of this Hasbro stand for this Black Widow figure online, I was like, that stand looks a little bit overcomplicated, a little bit like it's like it's too much. But I freaking love the presentation of this thing. I love the blast effects. I'm going to show you this thing. <clears throat> it looks great. I'm going to show you that. I have a Marvel Legends figure that I picked up uh, because I got some uh, groceries. We ran out of bread and ran out of like milk. So I had to run with my mask on, my rubber gloves on, I had to run to Walmart and they didn't have everything I was looking for. So I ended up going to Target too. And I'm not gonna go to those stores and not look at the figures. I had to go there, bread and milk, supplies, essentials. While I'm there, might as well take a look. So I, I picked up a Marvel Legends figure from a new wave that came out. I picked up two Funko Pops, what? Just three years ago, I picked up two Funko Pops. So I'm going to show you which ones I picked up there. I found a Chase. Bam. For a movie. A Chase for a pop for a movie that we're watching tonight. Tonight. In our home theater. Holy crap. Someone just blasted the chat with Mike the Hunter. Is Mike the Hunter here? I don't see him in the, the chat. It looks like Marvel 2026 just blasted the frick. So let's do this. So that I don't only see that comment in the chat. Uh, so let's see here. Mitch 80s Kids here. Lee is here. M. Castaneda. Hello from, did I pronounce that correctly? Hello from San Jose, California. David Big Dog Ramey. All the regulars are here. All the regulars in the nerd bar are here. Eric Williams. BJ says turkey. <laughs> it just says turkey. BJ Bonstel's here. He just says turkey. Glenn is here. Glenn Broadhurst. The only new MCU movie I'm looking forward to. Is that Black Widow? I can't wait to watch that thing. All the, the trailers. And really, I, I heard that it's like kind of like the Bourne movies, which I'm like, even more interested in seeing Black Widow now because I freaking love the Bourne movies. Blue Suns here. Uh, Marvel 2026 made it known that he was here. Uh, Mark 44 Prime, what's going on? Ant Richards. Uh, MCT Dog. I hope Hasbro releases those stands in three packs. Hell yes. Um, release the frick out of those stands because I will buy more of those stands. They're awesome. They take up a lot of real estate. They take up a lot of room. But if they release these stands with these explosion effects, I'm in. I'm I'm in. Because basically, let's see, this figure was $29.99. A regular Marvel Legend is $19.99, which means this stand and these explosion effects, basically $10. <clears throat> so now that we have 80 people here and 20 thumbs up, I'm going to show you this thing. And that does look better without the extreme glare from my ring light. I'm using a different light. This looks so much better now. I should have done this earlier. Anyway, here's the Black Widow figure. There's the explosion effects. You can move those explosion effects around. I kind of have them where it looks like someone's like raining down and it's all coming from the same direction and the explosion's happening that way and she's jumping over it. But you can move those around. There's little pegs on the bottom of these things. There's a peg on the uh, bottom of this big one. There's a peg on that one. And basically, let's see if I can do this here. See how they all peg in there? The big explosions peg into the big hole, 
And then there's small little peg holes there for the smaller explosion effects. But this looks freaking phenomenal. I love this. Totally worth 10 bucks for this stand um, and these explosion effects. Because you don't have to put Black Widow in this stand. You can use other figures. So I can have Black Widow with the rest of the movie figures, which hopefully I'll be getting here in the next few days. And then just use this stand for other figures. I could put freaking snake eyes there. That would look pretty badass. Let me just go ahead and freaking do that. How about that? So let me go ahead and do that. By the way, I'm wearing my Caps jersey. One of my Caps jerseys. One of my Ovi jerseys. So here's Snake Eyes. I'm just going to get him in a little jumping kind of like freaking action pose. By the way, how's everyone doing today? Happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. Uh, what, how am I going to do this? Just do one of these. And this is cool. So let me show you real quick. This little uh, this little deal right here. So like on Mafex stands, it's like friction based. It's just like all in tension. But these are springs. There's a spring in there. See? Those are spring action. And let me do this. Oh, crap. I did not even know that that moved. I just literally just discovered this move. <laughs> This movement here. Oh my freaking lord. I did not know it swiveled and holy crap, this stand just got even better. So I already like this stand and I literally by accident disco <laughs> discovered that the damn the gripper claw thing is fully articulated. It that's freaking sweet. Anyway, sorry guys, I just discovered that. So let me do this. Lost his backpack. That's cool. I just want to show you how this looks. And articulate it down. Bam. Look at that. Hell yes. Right there. Hasbro, if you got anyone watching, I know some of you guys are not, you know, at work right now. You're probably watching various action figure. I mean, if I worked at Hasbro and I was at home, I would be watching action figure related YouTube channels, maybe some live streams like mine. Make these stands, sell these stands with these explosion effects. I will buy them. I know other people will probably buy them, but that's badass right there. So uh, yeah, I wanted to show you the Black Widow. It looks great. I love this figure. Let's see if I could get some close up action. Focus, focus. It looks great. I still can't get it to focus. At least I don't have a glare. And uh, this is awesome. This is an awesome figure. Anyway, so let's get going here. Uh, since I've been battling for eight minutes, see if I can catch up on the comments there. Blue Sun would buy them, Hasbro, if you're watching. Blue Sun would buy them. Uh, let's see. I really want Hasbro to do more stands, and I want dioramas from them. Hell yes. Gucci bruh says that. And I agree. I would love dioramas because I can't build a damn diorama. I'm not artistically inclined, but I would buy one. BJ, put your hand behind it to focus. It never works for me. I try and Josh pencil like that, but I can't freaking get it to do it. I hate Funko Pops, dad. Uh, I wasn't collecting uh, Funko Pops. For, I mean, I was, I'm buying Mandalorian Pops here and there. But I saw one of them, and I knew the girls would like it because they love this movie franchise. And we're literally going to watch the premiere of it tonight on our TV. And this other one is from another franchise that I'm very interested in. And it I read the back of this box, and it was sounded really cool. It was very limited in nature. So I bought two pops. And I'll show you those in, in a bit. WWE Fan Talk Show is here. What's up, WWE Fan Talk Show? Um... Hey, wrestling fans, what did you guys think of Champa Gargano on NXT? Uh, I really liked the ending. A lot of people hated the ending. I liked there was a double swerve uh, at the end, and uh, I like that. Since he did you back Todd McFarlane's spawn Kickstarter. Interesting that you asked me that, Marvel Action. I actually just literally, like 45 seconds before I started this live stream, called my local GameStop that I pre-ordered the Mortal Kombat spawn figure from and asked him hey this thing was doing on the 13th of march did you guys get it he's like nope we had an issue with ups as soon as we get it we'll call you i'm like all right all right um and the reason i called them is because i looked at a video this morning that showed the articulation on the mcfarlane kickstarter original spawn figure 
And I think, I'm leaning towards, I think I'm down for the three pack. For those that don't know, um, Todd McFarlane is basically doing a new version of the original Spawn figure that came out in 1995. Fully articulated. I was worried about the articulation. There was a 3D model video that came out that shows the articulation, double jointed knees. Uh, it's fully articulated. Um, and I was waiting for to see the articulation. Now that I saw that, now I have to decide which tier I'm going to invest in. There's either just the first tier, which has the figure itself. <clears throat> you can get an autographed version of that where Todd McFarlane autographs like a thing and it's presented on like a plastic placard. Or you can get version two, which is the modern version of Spawn. And I think that has like a head, the shoelace head, where his face is literally like being held together by a shoelace. There's a third version of the figure, which is black and white. I'm thinking about getting the three pack. And, and I think that it would kind of display really cool that way. So the three pack is 160 bucks all in but you get the McFarlane autographed plaque. I've always wanted to get his autograph because I've been following the guy since he, he first broke into comic books. Um, so that's an autograph that I would really want to get. I'm interested in all three figures. The black and white version kind of looks like a, a pre-production kind of like sample version. So that's kind of cool. The full color version looks awesome. And then the modern version just has additional accessories like the sewn together head, um, which would sound cool. Um, just looking at the comments here. M. Castaneda, uh, people read Spawn still. I know people that do read it still. I haven't read it in a long, long time. I kind of fell off when McFarlane stopped uh, penciling it, doing the artwork on it. And I know Greg Capullo did the artwork on Spawn for a long time, and Greg Capullo is a freaking fantastic artist. So, uh, But I haven't read Spawn in a long time. I, I just it read The character resonates with me very much so because I was there from the beginning. I was there in the comic book store when the first issue came out, and I was fully invested in Spawn uh, as a kid, as a teenager. Fan of baseball, R.I.P. L. Kaline. I did not see uh, that L. Kaline passed away. Uh, I do like baseball. My main sport is hockey, but I am wearing a Washington Nationals hat here. If you could rescue someone from hell, who would it be? Jeez, these are deep questions. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who currently resides in hell to be able to rescue them right now. Uh, David Big Dog Ramey. Yeah, I feel you on that. I'm back in the three-pack two, Cerrone Game says. Shout out to Mackie Phelan. <laughs> Since I'm selling loads of WWE figures, would you be interested? Thank you for the natural segue there, Glenn. I'm not sure uh, at this point because I've bought a lot of WWE figures in the last couple of days. I'm going to start showing you the ones that I just got from Walmart. So let's get to that. And then I'm going to get back to some comments here. I have an hour today, as I do for every lunch uh, hour. That's why it's called the lunch hour. Uh, I have a lot of stuff to show you. I actually have three packages from the post office. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to those today. So if I don't get to those today, I'm going to get to those on Monday, on the Monday stream. So uh, Jethro, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm looking for that new Boba Fett Funko Pop for the 40th anniversary. Have you seen that yet? Or is that a May 1st release? Uh, I'm not sure which one that is. I know that, did they already go live? I know Funko Pop did, or the Funko Shop did a, a WonderCon exclusive Boba Fett. It's like a red one. Um, I think that went live. I'm not sure if it's sold out yet, but uh, your figure is cool with snake eyes. Yeah, yeah, that stand looks awesome with snake eyes. Um, it looks great. I'm going to put Widow back on it, though. So I got all of these. I, I don't know if they're still the same price on walmart.com. <clears throat> But I got all these for like $15 or under. I think some of these were as cheap as 12 bucks on walmart.com. They had a big sale there. So if you're interested in WWE Leaf figures, uh, some of these are getting kind of a little bit difficult to find, like this one right here, The Miz. Um, he's, I tried to find him on Amazon and his price started going up. So I found him on walmart.com. I think he was $15. But there's a, a pretty damn good Miz right there. So I got Miz. I'll show you the box art and stuff too. So he's got that. He's got that. The Miz has, uh, he is, to me, a lot more entertaining with Morrison there. I think Morrison and Miz kind of feed off of each other. And the fact that 
they're kind of a, a tandem again. They're a tag team again. They're they just they're funnier and more entertaining together. So um, so I got that Miz. <clears throat> Here is the new uh, Universal Champion. Is he the WWE Champion or the Universal Champion? He beat Goldberg, so he's the uh, Blue Blue Universal Champion right there. Braun Strowman, and I got this version here. They've done a few versions of Strowman recently, and I got this one with the giant base and the money in the bank suitcase. There's another one that comes with like an ambulance door, uh, but I wanted this one because it has the money in the bank suitcase, and I don't have one of those accessories yet. So there's Strowman, the current Universal Champion. Again, I think this one was like either $11 or $15. I don't remember the prices at as of right now, but they were all really cheap. Here is Jeff Hardy. I got him. And I, this one is fantastic because it comes with three different head sculpts. So it's got that really cool purple and blue head sculpt. It's got this one up top, partially painted, and it's got the, the yelling, fully painted head sculpt. That's awesome right there. So here is box art on Mr. Hardy. That's a really cool picture right there. Daddy, yes. We're watching you from downstairs. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. How are Daddy, you watching me? Um, it's, it says on the... Oh, I, I'm signed into the YouTube on the yeah. channel. Okay, cool. Hi, Peyton. <laughs> hi, hi. All right. Bye, we'll put bye. some pants on. No. Here is uh, Ziggler right there. Did you get those in store at Walmart or online? I got them all online. I was only doing online stuff. Everything you see here except for the Legends figure and the two pops I bought online. I've been kind of restricting myself to uh, staying at home and shopping. So here is the Ziggler. Hello. Hello. And there is <laughs> there is the uh, the art or the box art. Boopy. So those are the uh, WWE figures that I picked up. And let's check out the uh, comments here. Yes, I love the defining moments. You are really enhancing your wrestling collection. I am. I actually redid my uh, cabinets here. I have two Hi, shelves table, now. Table. Hi, table. I have two shelves now. And... <laughs> I have two shelves now. I did all of the uh, Raw and SmackDown guys here, and then I did all NXT here. Let's see... I have Stone Cold who's selling for a fair amount. I have Macho Man and Sting. Uh, I'm not wearing any pants, too. A lot of people are not wearing pants. <laughs> not wearing pants right now. I am wearing pants right now. I'm wearing some, some jeans right now. Uh, let's see. All the uh, WWE Elite figures that you just saw I got at uh, Walmart.com. I also have a Cena on the way. I have the jbl haircut uh style Suna, cena they didn't shut my door so now i hear hold up there we go better look at my caps jersey too here's the distractions when you're live streaming no shirt for me ionica says all right so let's uh scroll up a little bit ms what a jabroni uh bobby makovsky says what's up Looks like the Mafex Cyclops is finally about to ship. Got an email today. I don't have that one pre-ordered. I think I'm going to order the Mafex Venom uh, to go with the Mafex uh, Spidey that I have. And it's uh, it's the look of Venom when he first debuted from like issue 300 of Amazing Spider-Man to like 317 before he started really bulking up and looking like a monster. Let's see, You should get a thousand toy synthetic human you if you're into robots ai i have seen those before and they look very very cool music 2027 says don't skip me so there you go i didn't skip you uh that sounds like uh, and by the way i noticed when i, I watch back these streams to hear what i actually say because a lot of times i don't even i'm just, i'm just like going with the flow hear that i do that a lot and the reason i do that a lot is because my mouse is one of these infrared ones and I, it always gets off centered so i have to recenter it on the mouse pad so if you hear that that's what i'm doing anyway beast lol says do you only do streams now i haven't watched you in a while i'm sorry that's okay but i uh, used to watch 15 minute toy hunts but all i see on the channel is streams what happened what happened is uh, the coronavirus happened 
uh, the coronavirus happened and uh, I'm restricted to the house. So I wanted to do something to uh, communicate with people to get out there. I hadn't done a stream in, I don't know, like six months. So I did my first stream, felt really good, got to communicate with people, got to share things. So I uh, decided to make that a uh, thing. The first week that I started doing this, I did a stream every day that week, I believe. I think I did one every day. And then I started doing them Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The videos are coming. They will be coming. I have to do some Rip and Pucks videos too. But um, these are just the thing that I'm doing for now because of uh, home quarantine, coronavirus, get our minds off of the real world, get our minds fixated on cool stuff like toys and comic books and stuff like movies, stuff like that. Diet Pepsi. Um, so yeah, I, the videos are coming. I'm just, I've just been doing a lot of streams. They're fun. Did you, uh, let's see, let's see. I'm older than you and Cincy, Mitch 80s kid says. Rip and Pucks. Yes, Anne Marie, there are at least two Rip and Pucks videos that I have to, one is already filmed. I just have to edit it. The other one I have to actually film. I have a, um, a retail box that I have to rip open. Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. And there it is again. There it is again. I'm back in the Spawn Classic with Signature. So excited for it. Rick Antel says, do you remember the Baltimore Skipjacks hockey team in the early 90s? Yeah, that was the Washington Capitals uh, farm club before it was the Portland Pirates. And I, I just lost that damn comment. What did it say? Barry Trotz was the coach and Kenny Albert was the play-by-play. I think Kenny Albert still does play-by-play -play for the Caps, does he not? Uh, how about that spawn Kickstarter? Almost at a million in a day. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, considering that the goal was only a hundred grand and it's already approaching a million after one day, with 28 days left to go, that thing's going to be multi-million dollars when it's done. And uh, yeah, McFarland's definitely going to get that stuff out. I, hopefully, that he can show this is uh, yes. People are interested in this stuff. Retail stores, would you like to carry them? And then hopefully they will flock to it. I would assume that the uh, GameStop would be one uh, that would be very, very interested in that because uh, they've had such big success with the uh, Mortal Kombat figure. Uh, let's see. Amateur Toy Hunter. Or actually, Ed says, do you participate in any online comic, uh, comic auctions? Yes, uh, like three days a week now. I I, uh, I do a lot of online comic uh, sales and stuff. Um, and that's where I've kind of been getting my fix from for comics while all the stores are closed. My wrestling draft starts today and I have number four pick in the first round. Very cool, Amateur Toy Hunter. Do you have a, a Stamkos jersey? My boy's taken us to the cup. I do have a Stamkos jersey. I have uh, a black one, the uh, alternate one. I remember the Baltimore Clippers. How about an update uh, collection showcase Mezco 112? If possible, thoughts? Yeah, definitely. I uh, My Mezco, I have two shells for Mezco, and uh, that is definitely a video that I want to do. I'd probably break that into uh, a couple videos at least just to spend more time uh, showing you each shelf. But um, I definitely want to do a, a new collection video. Uh, let's see. BJ says, Todd sent me an autographed photocopy of a page from Spawn number one back in the day. I sent him a pic of Black Suit Spidey from issue 13. That's awesome, dude. Um, McFarlane just, I've never, have I ever met McFarlane? I, I saw him at Toy Fair. I walked next to him. I didn't introduce myself or say hi or try and shake his hand or anything like that. Because uh, he was, he looked busy and he was talking to people. So I was just like, hey, that's freaking Todd McFarlane. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, so I've never met him, but, um, he seems like a really genuine person, a very, very genuine. He, he seems like someone that really, really believes, uh, in, and he has an idea. He has a very, very good business sense for what this, for what we collect. Did I go to college? I didn't finish college, but yes, I did go to college. I went to, uh, Virginia tech, uh, for a year and a half. And then I went to University of North Florida for half of a semester. And then I went to two community colleges for a total of like two years. At one point, I was about 18 credits short of a graduate of a diploma of a bachelor's. 
I never went back because my job that I went to uh, continued to promote me because they were a very, very growing business at the time in the mid nineties. Um, and they promoted me to manager about like three months after I had started there. So I never got a chance to finish college and I never went back. So there you go. But um, I highly, highly recommend everyone if you're looking for a job to go to, yes, to go to college and to get that piece of paper because you will get uh, paid more. Daddy? Yes. After you finish the video, mm -hmm. can you give me a toaster strudel? Absolutely. Toaster strudel on the way. Strawberry toaster strudel on the way. We better be quick. <laughs> can you shut my door? Thank you, sweetie. You know you can use the toaster. I can use the toaster to shut the door? No. Okay. Uh, oh, Lord. Let's see here. Every time they walk in, I get lost in the comments here. Um, I saw an old video where you mentioned having a Bowen statue collection. Do you still have it? No. Edgar Gonzalez, I had at one time, I think I had maybe 30 maybe even 40 Bowen statues. And uh, those statues turned into what you see here, the hot toy collection. Um, I traded and or sold the majority of those Bowen statues and uh, invested heavily into hot toys. And that was back in like 2013 or 14. And I think Comics to Games got a very, very large number of those Bowen statues at the time. I don't know if they still have any of those. I think they've sold through all those. But um, yeah, that's what happened to those. I still like them. They look freaking awesome. And it sucks that Randy Bowen kind of got out of the game because those things were gorgeous. And I really, really loved collecting those during that time. Uh, let's see. I got McFarlane's autograph on his Spider-Man number one. That's a very good book to get autographed by him. Besides toy collecting, reading comics, sports, doing corporate videos, what else do you like to do? I like to watch wrestling. Uh, I like to hang out with those knuckleheads that keep walking into the video. Um, I like to hang out with Mrs. Cincy. I like to watch TV with her. I like to go to movies. Um, uh, be active. Just normal stuff. Eat tacos. I love tacos. We're getting tacos tonight, actually. We're getting, uh, for those of you in the Dallas area, I don't know if it's a national chain, but it's called Rose's Cafe. Absolutely freaking delicious Tex-Mex, and we're getting that uh, to go. We're going drive through on that. I'm taking my car in to get fixed, finally, because that sucker's got some issues. I'm taking my car in, dropping it off, doing the whole contactless drop-off. Not going to see anyone face-to-face, -face, not going to touch anyone. Just dropping the key in the keyhole with my rubber glove on. And then we're getting back in the car, getting some roses to go, going home, eating some tacos, eating some Co's, and then we're going to pop some corn, and then we're going to watch some Trolls World Tour, baby. Trolls World Tour, natural segue. That's why I did that whole thing, is for this segue. And look what I found in the wild, because I had to go to Target to get... What was Walmart sold out of? Pretty much a lot of stuff that I was looking for. So I went to Target and I got my supplies. I got my stuff that was on the shopping list, my essentials. And I was like, you know what? Let's go see what they got over there. And I went to the figure aisle and they didn't really have anything. So I went to the, over to the, the NECA and the collector's section behind the DVDs and Blu-rays. And I saw this on the front of the shelf. It's Branch from Trolls. We love Trolls. We're uh, getting the uh, rental tonight. We're paying the 20 bucks to get the rental for Trolls World Tour. It's worth 20 bucks to me because I would have spent 40 bucks at the damn theater. So we're going to pop up some corn. We're going to watch it on the, the big screen here. And uh, yeah, I got a pop. The Chase Branch. And uh, for those of you that are interested in pops, that still collect pops, if you see here, the normal version, the non-Chase version is smiling. And this one is just kind of, hmm, or hmm. Just kind of meh, or just kind of like eh, or hmm, kind of disappointed. That's the difference. I don't know of, of any other difference other than the facial expression, but I got the chase. That was pretty awesome. I haven't found a chase in, I don't know, freaking two years, three years maybe. And then, 
as I was walking past the counter, the electronics counter, I saw this. There was only two of them on the counter. And I was like, is that pop in a damn pop stack? Like the hard plastic case? I'm like, what is that? Like, what is that? It's really limited. And there it is right there. And it's a C-3PO. And I was like, that is a weird looking C-3PO. It looks like he has like splattered sand on his face. It's uh, only available at Target. And it's in a pop stack. And this is just this is exactly how it was on the counter. It still has the plastic and stuff. It's got this hard plastic case. And the back explains exactly what this is. It says, Funko is proud to introduce the first pop collaboration with graffiti icon and passionate Star Wars fan Futura. This series combines Futura's abstract artistic style that incorporates both text and imagery with his favorite Star Wars characters in Funko Pop form. And I was like, that's really different. And that's kind of cool. So I got it. It was, uh, I think it was like 18 bucks. <clears throat> but uh, there is the Futura Graffiti Pop of C-3PO Target exclusive. Pretty freaking cool. So there's the little write-up on the back. So there you go. There you go, Tom Bowling, who's always asking me if I'm buying new pops. I got two. I got two pops. Got a chase and a uh, graffiti pop. So there's that. You missed that office chase. Yeah, I know, BJ. I recall when I missed the damn Jim Halpert book face. Was it book face? Chase? Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I can't uh, live that one down. Um, is anyone in the comments interested in some loose, rare WWE figures? Glenn Broadhurst is selling loose, rare WWE figures, so hit him up after this. Uh, Anne Marie says, I collect pops, hot toys, sideshow, and statues. We've been collecting pops over five years now. I'd still be collecting them, but they just take up so much room. So now... I like them, obviously. I still, I still like them. I still buy them. It's just I have to be ultra, ultra selective. I bought, I bought uh, the Mandalorian pops. I bought the Brutus the Buckeye mascot, but they just take up so much room. All pop collectors, if you look at their collections, it's like just rows and rows and rows of stacked boxes, two or three deep. So you can't even see three rows behind what's in front. They just take up so much room. So that's why I have to be ultra selective um, with those. But I thought those were cool, so I bought them. So there you go. And I got 28 minutes left, so let's get to this guy. But let me look at how many pops do you have left, John says. Probably like less than 20 is what I have. Um, some of them are in boxes in the closet. Just because, again, they take up a lot of room. And I'm kind of restricted on my room space now. I don't have a big-ass basement like I did in Cincinnati. So my stuff is here. My stuff is, some of it's out in the loft. But this is my my happy place and right here. Love that rage face. Um, I freaking do, too. There's only two figures from this wave that I really wanted, and I got one of them. So uh, do you plan on picking up the Storm Collectibles Injustice figures or any of the Mortal Kombat ones? Um, I, I'm very tempted on that Bane. I think Storm made a recent, was it Bane? And it looks phenomenal. Um, so I'm tempted on that. Uh, Hot Toys Hulkbuster 2.0 is coming out soon. They arrived in Hong Kong yesterday. Yeah, I saw that picture, Montgomery Designs. Uh, those, those things sitting on the pallet. I'm not sure still if I'm going to go in on that one. A thousand dollars is just a lot of money for one single collectible. I can think offhand of two things that I could buy that are ultra expensive for less than $1,000. And that's the Lion Soul of Chagokin Voltron to go with my vehicle Voltron, which is like 400. Um, and um, like the Toy World Constructor, the big ass masterpiece scale Devastator, which is 500. So that's 900. I could get those two gigantic things and it'd still be less than Hulkbuster. So, I mean, I have a Hulkbuster. It's the power pose. I love that Hulkbuster. It looks great there. So, I don't know. $1,000 is just so much damn money. Um, so, yeah, that's where I am with it right now. 
The dark side looks pretty good as well. It does. Um, Bane's Injustice design is awesome. Pringles Man says, I have four pop vinyls, 80 WWE figures, which I'm selling. <laughs> Glenn is selling stuff. Um, can you give us a tour sometime? Build that wall, 13 says. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I talked about that earlier. I want to do an updated collection tour. Um, so that is definitely on my list of things to do. Uh, Ed says he spent 1000 on one statue. Um, I can definitely see that some of those uh, premium formats get up there in price. Stimulus check should cover the Hulkbuster. <laughs> uh, I got Raiden on pre-order. I was hoping that Storm would do Mortal Kombat 3 Reptile this year, but we'll see what happens. Uh, what Omega Supreme do you have back there, Cincy? That's the DX9 Gabriel, and I got that for a hell of a price. I think it's still pretty cheap on Big Bad. I think it was only like 170 bucks on Big Bad. Maybe maybe it was even cheaper, but I got it for a hell of a deal, and that thing is solid. That thing's awesome. I still need to find Spawn. I'm waiting for damn GameStop to get mine in. I pre-ordered it there. I already have like 5 or $10 towards it, so I'm just waiting at this point. Not sure, but Sideshow Collectibles re release a video showcasing Nebula Cap. And Hulk from Endgame. Really? Well, I definitely need to pre-order Cap then. Because I'm getting the big three from Endgame. Um, I decided on that. Uh, I was thinking about going back and forth between Nebula and Ronan Hawkeye. To get some characters I don't have. But honestly, my favorite part of Endgame. Kind of centered around Thor, Cap, and Tony. So... Um, I think those are the end game hot toys figures I'm going to invest in. There's another thing I could get. I think I could get all three of those for under a thousand dollars. So yes. Um, are you into star Wars UCS Lego sets? Uh, what's a UCS Lego set? I'm into the star Wars Lego sets. I don't, I don't have any of them. Uh, but every time I'm in the toy aisle, toy aisle i'm always i'm always staring at them um the lego sets that i primarily have in my collection are all batman i kind of started on batman so it's been an ongoing thing anytime a new batman set comes out i'm getting that lego set have you played any of your any of the arkham games and if so what's your favorite probably the first one was it arkham knight um but i do like those games they're they're a lot of fun let's see did you know Cliff from the TV show Cheers was in the Empire Strikes Back? Yes, he was. He was on Hoth. Did you see the Omega versus Trent match on Dynamite? What a match. No, I haven't seen that yet. I haven't watched uh, AEW yet. I watched uh, NXT um, Wednesday night live for the Champa Gargano match. I'm going to open up this Rage figure. So, again, I went to uh, Walmart, had to get some bread, milk, stuff like that. I was like, what the hell? I'm already here. I got a mask on my freaking face. I got rubber gloves on. Let me go see what they have. So I went over the toy aisle and they had remnants of this wave. And the two figures from this wave that I really wanted are Rage, who was on New Warriors. And he also debuted on Avengers. He's uh, not a, an extremely prominent character in the Marvel Universe, but I freaking love the design. I think that is the coolest design. He looks awesome. Uh, so I'm, I'm buying this almost entirely off of just how he looks, and I think that it looks cool. Um, he was on New Warriors, so he would look cool with Night Thrasher. But, uh, and I think they're making more New Warriors figures soon. I heard of a Firestar, possibly, uh, with an Iceman and a Spider-Man for Spider-Man and his amazing friends, the 80s cartoon, which I freaking loved, Saturday morning. Anyway, this was uh, one of the figures I wanted from the wave. The other one is Leader. And uh, they did not have Leader. They had, here's who else is in this wave. It is an abomination build a figure. Uh, most, let's see, one, two, three. Three of the figures are from a game. What's the name of the damn game? I have no freaking clue what the name of the damn game is, but uh, the Cap, the Iron Man, and the Miss Marvel are from the game. Someone shout it out in the chat if you know the name of the game that these characters are from. Does it say on there? It does not say on there. The rest of the characters are just kind of thrown in randomly. You got. Classic Captain Marvel. You've got, is that is his name Mach 5? Mach 1. So he's a Thunderbolt. I always call him Mach 5, confusing him with the freaking car from Speed Racer. But that's Mach 1, Thunderbolts, and you got Rage. 
And then the other character that I want from this wave is right there, leader. And they did not have leader. They only had at the Walmart that I went to, they had uh, two caps, a Miss Marvel, and then thankfully rage. So I got the rage. I'm going to take them out of the package, show you this thing up close. Um, oh, it's just called Avengers. Knight of Ren says that the game is just called Avengers. So, so there you go. Um, the leader figure, instead of continuously trying to hit up Walmarts, checking uh, Pop Finder or Brick Seek or Brick Finder, whatever the frick it's called, I decided just to go on Hasbro Pulse and pre-order it. So it says it's due in 428, which is 18 days from now. So I am uh, going to wait for it. I also pre-ordered some of the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse figures. I pre-ordered the Wolverine, the X-Man, the Dark Beast. There's a fourth one. Jean Grey. So the only ones I did not pre-order so far are Morph and Wild Child, which I'll eventually get those so I can build the Sugar Man uh, Build-A-Figure because I think that thing looks amazing. He comes with no accessories, no additional hands, nothing like that. He does come with the bath piece, which is an abomination arm. And this appears to be the same exact sculpt from the previous abomination. So there's that. But here, and I realized I just put that right in front of the mic, so that was probably really loud. So I apologize for that if that just blew out your ears if you're wearing freaking earbuds or headphones. But this is the, who's the buck on this? The buck is Venom buck i think uh they did a uh, is a century and hyperion same buck what about sunfire oh that's the other one okay so there's three figures i did not pre-order sunfire was the other one and i definitely want to get that one he is translucent so that's an eventually but my pre-order on because i also got the stan lee there my pre-order pre-order amount was very high it was over 100 bucks so i was like eh, let me wait on the other ones i got to ration my spending cash here so so i've got i it looks like they're all going to release 428 so that'll be a very very cool day for me uh, when i get those in the mail but here is rage and again he looks freaking awesome he looks badass he's big and bulky uh very very cool um leather vest very cool mask What is going on out there? I hear tapping on the door. My Walmart has like two leader figures. I'll keep an eye out for you, bro. Knight of Ren says, um, I haven't pre-ordered, so I should be good. But thank you, Knight of Ren. I appreciate that. Um, is there anything else I'm looking for at retail? Hopefully GameStop delivers on my spawn. If not, I'll be looking for one of those. It seems, oh, that's the other thing I'm looking for from Walmart is that a Black Widow figure. Um, I see people are starting to find that Black Widow Walmart exclusive. I really want to get that one since I got the Target exclusive, but what can I show you as a comparison? Let's do this. So we've got, I just want to show you a little size comparison here. Is Rage using that new Hercules body mold? I think that's the same buck. Yeah, I think that's the same body mold. Here is Rage. Let's see if I can, see if I can do this. Can you focus, please, camera? Nope. Okay, you suck. So there you go. There's the rage. And then uh, here is Hulk from the two-pack. One of my favorite figures last year. So that shows you how big rage is compared to Hulk. Pretty badass. So, yeah, I really like this figure. Um, and, again, he will look fantastic next to Night Thrasher. Um, I thought about doing a shelf of street level heroes. We're talking Daredevil, Punisher, Moon Knight, um, Rage, Night Thrasher. I think he'd look cool on a shelf with like all the uh, the street level dudes. So there you go, right there. Such an awesome looking figure. That face sculpt is badass. So there's that, uh, but let's get to, we got 16 minutes left. I might be able to open up um, one or two of these packages here, but let me uh, catch up on the comments. Does that vest come off? 
It does, but it's a very, very like stiff rubber. So you could see I'm kind of like pulling it and that's as much as it's moving. So yes, it comes off, uh, but I would heat the heck out of it with a hairdryer or dip it in like a um, really hot wall, Walter, <laughs> really hot water, dip it in water, heat it up with a hairdryer and then take the vest off that way. But uh, you could see that the armholes right there are very small as well. So um, yeah, you're definitely going to have to heat it up if you want to take that vest off. Rage looks like he would fare well with the WWE shelf too. Yes, he would. Um, he kind of gives me that, that vibe. He kind of, uh, gives me a Bane vibe almost, but, um, I've always liked the design of this figure of this character. He has changed his design somewhat. His mask now is like, uh, white with like black on it. And it, I think it covers up his mouthpiece. So it's just like a full mask with eye holes. They've changed it up a little bit. Holy hot Walter. <laughs> John Bunny says, uh, oh boy, I'm late to the party. Uh, no worries, Toto JR. Thanks for joining. We have a hundred, holy crap, 163 people and 61 thumbs up. Thank you, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy good Friday. Uh, hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully you're all, um, hopefully you had a great week. You got some fun things planned for the weekend. We're watching uh, Trolls World Tour tonight. We're going to do a stop motion video this weekend. It's probably going to suck. Probably going to suck. Um, especially since uh, Mike, Mike the Hunter, just did a uh, stop motion video. And his was freaking awesome. Uh, his was uh, Union Jack. And yeah. So anything I produce is going to pale in comparison to his. Because he invested some serious time in his. And go watch it. It's it's awesome. Um, mine's just going to be very basic and pretty crappy, I'm assuming. But I'll get better. I'm just going to keep keep doing them with Tay Tay. She seems to like them right now, so we'll uh, we'll do that. The Walmart Black Widow might be one I'd pick up because that's the Black Widow on X Men 268. I'll probably pose her with my X Men figures 248. Because I bought that comic book last night on a uh, comic book auction. I kept saying 268 also. 268 is uh, two issues after the debut of Gambit. Gambit debuted in issue 266. I think 267 has Psylocke or someone like a close-up holding like a champagne glass. Um, two, 248 is the first Jim Lee art on X-Men. And it's got Captain America, Wolverine, and Black Widow that look uh, the gray suit, Black Widow, kind of short hair on the cover. But yeah, I bought that uh, comic book last night. I got it for $15 in an online sale. Take care, John. Thanks for joining. Uh, I got that one. I got the first full appearance of Bishop, uh, which was X Men 283. I got that for five, it was $10. I got that one. 282. I got issue 282 also, which is a first cameo of Bishop. Uh, so, yeah, I've been um, filling my want list for uh, old X-Men, old Amazing Spider-Man. It's been fun. Cincy, do you think – what do you think about the new Cosmic Ghost Rider? I think it looks freaking awesome. I think that's a great-looking figure. One of the best of the year so far. Take care, Outside Box Reviews. Thanks for joining. Uh, Jim Lee Marvel Art is the best-looking, in my opinion – uh, I agree. That was, uh, I think that was the best Jim Lee. Before he started on Wildcats, he was doing Uncanny X-Men. There was a a run that he had on X-Men, and it was just absolutely freaking gorgeous art. Uh, I'm 10 seconds into the Mike the Hunter stop motion, and it looks great. Yes, it is a fantastic video. Cincy, DC or Marvel? I'm going to go with, um... that's a tough question. For action figures right now, it's still Marvel. I think Marvel Legends is uh, is better than what McFarlane's doing on the DC figures, but he's got something going with the DC figures. I like them a lot, and I've bought almost all of them. Comic book-wise, i got to go with Marvel because that's where I started. I started with X-Men, and then I went over to Batman. Um, animated shows and animated movies, DC's got it, hands down. Movies... I got to go with Marvel with the MCU. So I love them both. I mean, I don't think that you can just love one or the other. I love both Marvel and DC. I love image. I just love comic books in general and comic book movies and 
action figures. So I don't discriminate. Uh, I'm definitely going to pick up the Cosmic Ghost Rider soon. It is amazing. You need a machine man figure so you can lean rage against the machine. Ah, that was good. That was freaking good. I was wondering where you were going with that. Uh, Kanji Club said that you need a machine man figure so you can lean rage against the machine. Freaking brilliant. That was awesome. Hats off to you, Kanji Club. That was freaking amazing. I didn't, I didn't get it at first. And I was like, ah, I see what you did there. In terms of DC, Neil Adams is my favorite artist. I love how he does his Batman. My favorite artist of all time is also an Adams, but it's Arthur Adams. Um, Arthur Adams and Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee are my top three. But Art Adams, um, he got me with um, Longshot and some of the X-Men annuals he did. Arthur Adams is freaking just comic artist brilliance. BJ Bonstall just freaking blew my mind with his question. That's a tough one, dude. He said, Captain America's trilogy. So we're talking First Avenger. We're talking Winter Soldier. And we're talking Civil War. Or Nolan's Batman trilogy. Wow. So that's tough. And that... So I, I thought about like my favorite movie from each of those trilogies. My favorite movie from the Batman trilogy is uh, Dark Knight with Joker, Heath Ledger Joker. My favorite movie from the Captain America trilogy is Winter Soldier, which coincidentally or not is the second movie in each of those trilogies. I got to go with, oh man, that's freaking tough. I got to go with uh, Captain America trilogy because of uh, Winter Soldier and Civil War. Um, I was not the biggest fan of Dark Knight Rises. It had its moments where it was really cool. But altogether, it felt like it ran way too long. And it was it was slightly anticlimactic at the end. Uh, I love Batman Begins. But um, I got to go with the uh, Captain America trilogy. That's a good question, though. A damn good question. Garth and his Punisher stories are brilliant. I, you know what? I actually just read the first issue of Punisher Soviet this morning. It's a Garth Ennis book. It's the newest Punisher book, and uh, it's really good. It's got me hooked. So um, I have a read pile. So my read pile consists of several long boxes, but my actual read pile is usually anywhere from five to ten comic books. And I moved Punisher Soviet all, I think there's five issues there that have come out to the top of the read pile. That's, that's what I'm reading now. Um, there's some detective, I have detective 1000 in there too, uh, which, uh, which is, I'm halfway through that. It's a long book. It's, t it's a $10 book. So, uh, but yeah, those are in my read pile right now. Favorite DC animated movie. I got flashpoint paradox. Oh man. I'd have to think about that. Cause there's been a, a, a lot of good DC animated movies. I'm not the biggest fan of civil war. I wasn't at first when I first saw it. When I first saw Civil War, I was like, why are they fighting? And um, I didn't like it at first, but it's grown on me, and I really do like it. Um, I like The Dark Knight Rises better, even though it was a longer movie, just personal preference, but cap all, all the way. Anne-Marie says, New Frontier is uh, Chris Harvey's favorite DC animated movie. Star Chris says he re he wrote in 1,000 Bullets a lot of stories. I must be talking about Ennis. What's your oldest Uncanny X-Men issue? My oldest one is X-Men 135. It's part of the Dark Phoenix saga. I actually just picked up 124 is my oldest X-Men issue. It used to be Giant Size X-Men 1. I had X-Men 94. I sold those off. I want to reacquire them. I also want an X-Men 100 and a 101, which is the first Phoenix. Um, they're all pricey. So as soon as I get some money to dedicate towards buying old books, those are all at the top of my list. All at the top of my list. Under the Red Hood or Jail Doom, BJ says. Titans and Doom Patrol are really good, Ionica says. Does the Blade Trilogy get any love? Um, 
I like the Blade trilogy. The, the first Blade is fantastic. Um, I love that one. The second one, I didn't really do it for me, but the third one, which is the one that kind of gets panned, uh, had Ryan Reynolds in it. He was in Night Stalkers. Jessica Biel's in it. Freaking Triple H is in it as a vampire. I really like Blade 3. I really enjoy Blade 3. So, um, Kanji Club says, who is the closest Joker equivalent in the Marvel Universe? Like the closest Academy Award worthy dark, um, not very comic book like movie in the Marvel Universe? Tough question. I'd probably have to go with something like on like Netflix Punisher series. I don't know. Um, Cause Marvel's kind of Marvel has kind of this, a similar theme throughout all of their uh, movies. They're all kind of very, very family oriented. I mean, Deadpool is adult oriented, but it doesn't really, it's not dark uh, like Joker was. <laughs> Chris Barco says, you made a GD vampire, a Pomeranian. <laughs> oh, Pomeranian. That was a funny line. Uh, that would be Green Goblin. Oh, you're going for character, not movie. Okay, Daryl Wilson says Green Goblin. Loki is Marvel's Joker. Just check my oldest Uncanny 115. Anyone know what that is? I don't. I could not tell you the cover of 115 right now. Um I used to know all the covers, what they looked like based on their issue number, but I couldn't tell you. Uh, I love the MCU, but before Winter Soldier came out, their villains were trash. Ever watch Bat in the Sun shorts? No, I'm not sure what that is. Kingpin is the Darede Daredevil series. Sauron. Um, I got time to open one package. I have, I got four minutes left. I have, this one's from Rob Choi. So I got three packages here. I'm just going to open this one because it looks like a smaller package. I think I know what's in here. I think he told me what was in here, but I, I kind of forgot. But as soon as I see... So this Rob Choi sent this to me. Let's see if it's what I think it is. It is not. Uh, it is not what I was anticipating. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Oh, it is what I thought. Hold on. All right, so this is what I thought was in here. Freaking awesome. Oh my God, that's one of the ones I used to have. So Rob hit me up and said that he had some old micro machines. And if you're a kid in the 80s, you remember the micro, she micro machines commercials um, with the guy that talked really, really fast. And I collected the crap out of micro machines and I don't have any of them in my collection until now and it is crazy he didn't show me which micro machines he had but it is crazy he sent me one of these because this is one of the ones i actually had in my collection because it reminded me of uh sideswipe even though it's not the same car as sideswipe from transformers but here's one of the little micro machines he sent me a red lambo and man these are bringing back so many memories they are so small in my adult hands because <laughs> um, they were like, when I was a kid, I had very small hands, obviously, and they were, I remember them being bigger, but man, that is awesome. That is so freaking cool. And this is going right on the vintage shelf. I have a vintage shelf of, can you see it? Nope, I'm in the way. There's a vintage shelf. That, okay, so there's the mask and then there's G.I. Joe and at the very bottom, there's random vintage toys. I've got like a uh, War Duke from Dungeons and Dragons, some GoBots. I've got some uh, Ninja Turtles, soft head Ninja Turtles. These are going right on that shelf. So Rob Choi, holy freaking crap. I can't believe out of all the micro machines, out of all the micro machines that were produced, you literally sent me one that was one of my favorites as a kid. There's only three in here. And oh, there's this one. Is this a micro machine? Um, here's another one. And my friend had this one. I remember this one. This is a Cobra. And I, I actually want a uh, full size version. This is like my dream car. I would freaking love a Cobra. Um, that would just be an amazing car to drive on like a freaking weekend. 
convertible, freaking hair blowing through my hair blowing through my wind, wind blowing through my hair, my non hair. Um, I just, I can't get over the this. I can't get over the fact that out of all the ones that were produced, you literally had one of the ones I had as a kid. That's so crazy. And then there's the Cobra, and then here is a little pink one right there. That's cool. I don't know what kind of car that is. Is that a Porsche? It's almost like a Porsche 911 based on the back and the little, uh, if you could see that right there, kind of looks like a Porsche. And then there's a little Millennium Falcon he sent me, which is very, very cool. Very small Millennium Falcon. Uh, and then he also included, man, these bring back some memories. Wow. Uh, some Marvel Universe cards. I think this is Series 1. Yeah, 1990 Marvel Universe. Uh, Michael Taylor uh, on Facebook in the Nerd Bar has been posting a lot of pictures of his card collection. Uh, and this was Series 1. I would love to get an unopened box of Marvel Universe and just rip them and get those holograms. But he sent me the cap and the Iron Man from Marvel Universe. That is freaking awesome. I just realized I'm over an hour. I'm at an hour and, and, and a minute. Yes. And then mm, I uh, this was okay. also in there. Bed box. <laughs> we have to use food coloring. So. Wow. Don't touch my jersey, please. It's an authentic no. jersey. <laughs> Look. It's stained. It's It smells of like fruit also. Like yeah, candy. Yeah, it's food coloring. It's, oh, wow. That's strong. Yeah, we have to use like. <laughs> This uh, one teaspoon of essential oils, mm -hmm. so the bath bomb smells good. It is really strong. I got it all over my hands. Woo! That like opened up the sign. That was yeah. like a smelling salt on the hockey bench there, just going. Ooh. Just smelling her, <laughs> the stuff on her fingers. Oh. Yeah, it's so we have to use Epsom, oil, Epsom salt and coconut oil. Uh huh. I touched it and it's. Uh, and yeah, don't sniff that stuff too uh, too much. It's probably toxic. Well, it's from my bath bombs. Okay. Hey, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? I'm oh. about to peace out here. So. Bye bye. It is strudel time, Ed. I gotta go make a toaster strudel for uh for P Dog. Pee pee. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go check and see how big of a mess they made with these bath bombs. They did not make a big mess. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for joining me, guys. Happy Good Friday. Have a good Friday. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Stay inside. Stay, stay healthy. healthy. <laughs> 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 I love being mocked. We're going to make a uh, stop motion this weekend. We're going to watch some Trolls World Tour. And we're going to watch a new video at 3. Bubble. And her favorite YouTuber is posting at 3, Mariah Elizabeth, who still hasn't told me what her P.O. box is. Yeah, so we can send her free stuff. Months. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining. If I didn't get to your question because this chat skipped around, please post it in the comments. But uh, thanks for the thumbs up. Wait. Thanks for joining. You guys are awesome. And adios for now. Bye -bye. That was kind of uh, Kenny Omega like, and you have no idea who Kenny Omega is. I do. But uh, that was kind of a yeah. Adios, guys.